Hey guys, so I decided today that I would shoot another tea I drink in a day video. The last one I did was like preparation for my wedding. So for this one, I thought it would be kind of fun to do something that I've been doing on my own anyway. I'm trying to drink through my tea stash a little bit. So I'm drinking teas that like necessarily aren't my very favorite because I would love to empty some of those out so I can repurchase more that I do love. So I decided to start the day off with Vanilla Sencha. I keep it in this like really pretty tin that I got when I worked at David's Tea. This is one that I don't dislike. I do like it, but I have just a little bit left and once I drink through it, I'm not gonna repurchase it because I would rather have a different green tea. So this is my first tea of the morning. First thing when I get up, I start the kettle and get my tea going because it's, you know, the thing I look forward to the most when I first get up. So I'm gonna drink this, I'm gonna enjoy it, and then throughout the day, I'm gonna drink maybe some teas that I don't love so much. So I think it'll be a really interesting um, sort of theme for the day, drinking through my tea stash. Okay, on to tea number two. My tea wall is looking kind of crazy, I feel like. Um, we got some new mugs from um, like as a wedding gift so we have a D and a G for Dana and Gerald um, this one is new from our honeymoon all of this came in like a gift basket with the mugs so I have a lot more than I'd like to right now and it's just not organized very nicely so I would really like to like drink through some things I've been keeping this with like our fruit um, it's like a beautiful trifle dish that my friend Ari gave me so I'm just kind of looking for like new homes for everything and trying to get this all organized. This uh, shelf here has always only had one row, but I combined it into two because that's just how much tea I have right now. And I gotta drink through some of it. So I'm thinking I'd really like to have an iced latte next. I'm gonna pick something that would be good for that, but also I want to, uh, well, I have to make sure that my milk is good before I go ahead and drink that. But honestly, I'm thinking probably one of these. This was from the Malt Shop collection, so I mean, that was a really long time ago. And I think with an iced latte, I could drink through like almost a whole tin of one of these because they are so small. These are coffees from when I worked at Starbucks. We got a free bag like this, like a pound bag of coffee beans every week. So I, this isn't even it. I have five here, and then I'll show you the rest of them, but I have, I have like this Christmas collection. This was like the sweets throwback. This is really old too. So maybe I'll think, ooh, mocha orange biscotti might make a good iced tea latte. And then we bought a second one of these. My friend Lisa sent me this, um, Taylors of Harrogate. And my husband liked it so much that he bought even more. These were from our bridal shower. My friend Carrie made all these teas for us that say like special things, like when to open them. We still have yet to go to get into this one, even though we have had a fight since we've been married, but um, I guess we'll wait for the next one. This is Gerald's. <laughs> one of you spotted this in my other video. So I put it down here because I don't drink and I want to stay on brand, but yeah, so I have tea bags here that are just like single ones, like I have a chocolate covered almond, a blueberry muffin. But for an iced latte, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do mint chip sundae, pending milk is good. So I'll check on that and I will make this next if possible.
June, so this is weird, but I really want to finish off the rest of the Monster Mash I have left over from Halloween. So that's going to be my next cup of tea. To be honest, there's probably a little more left in here than would be good for one cup of hot tea. But I just had my iced latte, and to be honest, I wasn't really loving it. So I'm glad I have my kettle going, so that's what that noise is. But um, I want a hot tea now, so I'm just going to finish this off. It's just going to be a really strong cup of tea. No caffeine in this. So I'm not overdoing it or anything, but this will be my next cup, even though, I mean, it's never too early for Halloween. My thought process behind finishing this tin out today. I'm trying to clear out my tinzillas. They're all behind here. They just take up a lot of space. I have... I have three left. Ooh, and I had another one I wanted to talk about. But I was hoping I could fit at least most of my pumpkin chai into this Halloween tin. I definitely have a lot. And this should last me a while. And then, you know, if Halloween rolls around, I want to refill my Tinzilla, I can. But it's just taking up too much space on my shelf. So I'm going to put the tea from here into here. But then I wanted to ask you guys something too. I bought this uh, gingerbread matcha and I got it for $15 on sale and I literally only bought it for a video. I opened it and used it only for the video where I taste tested it and I honestly like I'm, I'm never going to drink this again. And I don't want to advise, let me turn it around so I can talk to you guys. Properly. Personally, I would never like advise or encourage you guys to buy tea that's been opened from somebody you don't know and you guys don't know me. So I have this whole thing of gingerbread matcha. I don't, I don't know if I'd even want to sell it though because it's been opened. I mean, I just hate for this to go to waste and I hate for it to like continue to take up space on my shelf when I'm truly 100% not going to use it anymore. So like I'd be happy to give it away um, to anyone who'd be interested in like paying postage for it. Like I, I don't know how much it'll cost to ship, but it's just such a waste otherwise. So if you like love gingerbread matcha, um, let me know. And I mean, if there's a lot of interest, maybe I can do some sort of like giveaway, but um, I don't even, I don't want to like promote it and stuff, but I don't want it to go to waste either. I don't know if I have any friends in real life who would want it, who do know me, but I don't know. I guess let me know your thoughts. Um, have you ever bought tea, like opened tea from someone you don't know? Let me know what you think. Let me know if you'd be interested. Um, and if like, if only one person wants it, like if I get like one comment about it, like I'll send it to you, you know? But um, yeah, I guess, I guess just let me know what you think and if it would be something you would want or if you think I should just throw it away or or what I guess but anyway I'm gonna transfer this into this hopefully it will be all the way um, it'll all fit in here cuz then I can have my pumpkin chai in the perfect spooky tin it belongs in probably looks like I haven't like moved from the spot all day but I promise I have <laughs> I made that ice latte and I really wasn't crazy about it it was um, the mint chip Sunday one my husband mostly drank it, which was great because again, like I hate waste. I hate wasting food. I hate wasting tea. I just, I don't like it. But you know, it's like we get in these habits, or at least I do, where I, I have my favorite teas, everybody does, and I'm just drinking the same tea every day. And that's all well and good, but the, the, the bottom line is that like I have all these different teas and um, I have a lot of mugs. I just don't have the proper space right now. I'm not loving how it looks. So hopefully after I combine some of these, it'll look a little prettier like it used to. Cause, and I'm in the habit of like putting things that don't go on here. Like I have back here, like a thing of granola. I have like a bowl of candy. I have all kinds of like weird stuff. So I'm just trying to clear some room, have a little bit of space. God, this smells so good. I like, since we've had such weird weather here in Illinois, um, like weird summer weather, it almost feels like it should be Halloween already because we've had a lot of storms, a lot of spooky weather basically, which I'm not complaining. You know, I like summer. I like when it's nice out, but I love spooky stuff. So I'm gonna just pretend it's Halloween. <laughs> So it looks like it's not all gonna fit, unfortunately. 
This is how full we are right now, so I can fit a little more, but like this is how much is left in here. So I don't think it's gonna work. And like I use a spoon to scoop it so it's not going all over the place, but I'm still getting it all over the place. I mean, what can you do? Pumpkin chai is one of my favorite teas of all time. It's like not even like a proper chai, you know? It doesn't have like like cardamom, nutmeg, like it's, it's different. It almost is like, Oh, I don't know. It's just so good. It brings back like the best memories. I hadn't been working at David's Tea too long before like my first um, Halloween season there, like my first fall. I wish I could have stayed longer, honestly. I, I really do miss David's Tea. I still have quite a bit left in here, honestly, but this guy is full. So at least my spooky tin is full of pumpkin chai, just like I wanted. I guess I'll just have to make like a pumpkin chai latte or two. No, this is definitely enough for at least two lattes. So looks like I'm gonna have to hold on to this a while longer before I can get rid of this container. Kind of disappointing, but at least it's a step in the right direction. And at least like, at least I've been like inhaling this for a couple minutes. It's gonna put me in like the best mood. So good has black tea, cinnamon, cloves, caramel, carrot, lemon peel, pumpkin candies, pumpkin flakes, natural and artificial flavor. Mm, I might make like an ice latte tomorrow. I think one per day is good, but this is like calling my name super loud. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let the Monster Mash steep a little bit longer too, and then I'm gonna drink that one, but yeah, this has been an interesting day of drinking teas I don't usually like reach for on a daily basis. Um, and hopefully I can do like one or two more before the day is up. Okay, so it is the end of the night and I was looking for a tea to unwind with. And I decided to go for a mother's little helper. Usually I like a chamomile or I just drank through my entire stash of Tivana lavender cream and that's all I'll ever get because Tivana is gone now. But I'd love to drink through this little tin. This was actually the first cup I've taken out of it, which is awful because I've had this for so long. Um, but Mother's Little Helper was what I knew to be David's Tea's most popular sleepy time tea. I just don't prefer it because it has mint um, and like lemongrass and hibiscus and I just find those things to be kind of stimulating. But I do like the effects of the valerian root so I do like it for a nighttime tea. So hopefully soon I'll be able to get rid of this little tin. Uh, but for now I have my cup steeping. I'm all cozy on the couch, getting ready to go to bed soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was sort of a different take on my um, like tea I drink in a day videos. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, have you ever done like a tea sip down challenge? I know a lot of my friends on the David's Tea fan page do those. For me, I've never really done it as like a challenge, but I have been conscious lately about sort of um, consolidating and being a little more selective. And I'm still in the habit of drinking my favorites every day, but to kind of like get out of that sort of routine a little more often so I don't have tea just like getting old on my shelf like I tend to. All right, so I hope you guys have had a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.